What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are gonna be installing the Mopar roof rails with the Thule ski rack, as you can see. It's a great option for any Jeep owner who is lives somewhere where it is cold in the winter and you're in a ski, but in the summer you don't wanna have those on permanently. So this is a great option if you're gonna be taking them on and off like I am. So without further ado, let's get into the video where I show you how to go ahead and get these installed. First things first, what you want to do is go ahead and take your directions that are provided and you're going to want to read through them thoroughly. Dude. I'm just kidding guys, this is super easy install. As you're going to see, it's going to take 5 to 10 minutes. You can do it by yourself, Allen key, flathead, it's all you need. You can do it in your garage, boom. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, you're going to want to go ahead and turn this little flathead screw counterclockwise. You're going to need a flathead screw for that. Once you go ahead and turn that counterclockwise, as some have said, this thing should just pop right off. Mine was a little bit harder than that, but um, all you'll want to do is just take a little screwdriver and then nudge it up on here. And then once you take this piece off, you're going to go ahead and take that provided Allen key and you're going to go ahead and loosen up this bit that locks it on to the roof rack. Awesome, as you can see with the cap removed, here's that Allen key I was talking about. It is it is pushed all the way in, so you're going to take that Allen key and go ahead and just loosen it. Loosen it until it feels like it's about to come out, but don't take it all the way out, you don't need to. And then once you take that out, you're gonna repeat that same process on the other three. As you can see, with the Allen key loosened and both caps off, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take that and then you're just simply gonna slide this piece down and then if you need to, loosen a little bit more and just as simple as that, guys. That took two seconds. And as you can see, the little rough part is on the inside of the roof and then the thing you loosened is on the outside. And without further ado, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and tighten that bolt and that's what's gonna be securing this and this to your roof. So I figured I'd hop up real quick. Something to note, make sure when you go ahead and line these up, do not go in front of the two T-tops in case you wanna take those off. This is the same for both the two-door and four-door. I'm running mine a little bit close. One, because I don't plan on taking them off. And two, my skis are pretty big, so um, that shouldn't make a difference. But um, you can always bring this one back. As you can see, I have a decent amount of room, but Without further ado, let's go ahead and get both these bolts tightened and we'll get the final thoughts. So as you can see right behind me guys, both the Thule and Mopar. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering uh, why I didn't go into too much detail on the Thule part. So I'm gonna hop into it right now, it's super easy. Guys, it's literally just two twisties. So loosen that one, there's one identical. Loosen those, pull the strap around it and boom, tighten it back up. Super easy, that's how easy this setup is, guys. Four Allen bolts you need to loosen, four clips you need to pop. Repeat the process, and boom, it's all done. You have a roof rack and a ski rack, all in one. Took me five minutes to do the whole thing. All right, that may be an exaggeration, but boom. Super, pretty low profile for what it is. Doesn't, don't hear it, doesn't make any noise. I'm super stoked on how that came out. So without further ado guys, I really appreciate you staying tuned, watching this whole video. If you haven't yet, subscribe. I have a bumper, all kinds of other modifications, lights, you name it, I got it. And it is going on here in the next few months. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But if not, see you in the next one.